Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if my camera is a little weird because it shifted when I pressed the record button, I'm sorry about that. Actually, let me correct that real quick. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so today we're going to talk about three of Moto Trends. Top picks are our top favorites for the LA Auto Show as we come to the close of the second day. Um, this was filmed on Saturday, December 1st, and this will go up on Monday, December 3rd, depending if I want to do it on Saturday tonight as i'm filming this or not now we're going to talk about three vehicles consisting of that list and we're going to go through their details and statistics all right so starting off this list for number one this will be the 2020 rivian rs or no r1t and r1s um the r1t is if i'm not mistaken the truck and r1s is if not and again if i'm not mistaken the um the suv now as i pull this list up i have um as the list consists of obviously the um 2020 jeep gladiator is going to be top on that list this is second um the second vehicle I, I will talk about is the um 2020 lincoln aviator and third is the 2020 honda passport all right let's get started with this um now this is pretty cool this is a competitor to the tesla obviously as you can tell it is an electric truck um it does look pretty cool i'm not too on board with it but it may be good this is these are just concept designs but half of that those headlights and stuff will not make it to production as road laws will consist not of um if i keep doing this i am sorry that's just me hyping myself up to make this video because same with last video i'm sorry i clapped for last podcast or mini cast video i have um I was trying to get it done. I was I was tired. I was working waking myself up. So if that's if, I, if you hear that, that is why. Now, there is this one quote. It says someone is okay. So it's um, these people are skeptical of new vehicle startups. So is a lot of automotive um, enthusiasts, automotive journalists. They're not too sure how well this vehicle is going to be. Um, if I'm loud, I'm sorry. But this is car is pretty cool. It's all electric truck slash suv and it is pretty cool now i'm curious to see what tesla's response is to this truck now um it's like they're saying in quote and what a big stick the rivian r r1s and r1t are after nothing but radio silence from michigan based startup for years rivian oh rivian is a american company i'm honestly surprised it is based out of uh, michigan Probably Detroit area as is GM and Ford and Dodge. Um, but um, we're going to go down to... Now, they're, they're predicting this is going to be like a DeLorean, which the, which flopped horribly. That was a crappy car. I want to say it's going to... I mean, I think they're going to say it's going to sell in the market as like a DeLorean. Um, they're also saying... Um, Tucker um fisker those two failed as well now they're saying this one might be the same because this is an electric car so is fisker now tesla is the king of electric cars this one tesla has yet to make a truck so they should be just fine in my opinion um it is a pretty slick looking truck and suv too now um it's like this okay so this is designed from has design teams from McLaren, Tesla, and Chrysler. As Tesla is a part of this, they may take co-ownership. So, I read down on that. They may not make a truck for themselves, but they should. They should design their own truck. Now, instead of putting Rivian on the name, they should put Tesla on, or the Tesla symbol. Um, that would be pretty cool. I, got, I have an idea for that, but I'm not popular enough. And yet, can I draw, I can't draw a car as well as I should, should. Now, it's weird seeing a truck like that with a front trunk. I, I'm not too on board with that. There should be, it should be more of a hybrid, not a full electric vehicle, because we know electric vehicles. Um, yeah, Tesla is putting their hypercharge or supercharged stations, um, whatever you want to call them, out there, but there's not enough. So, say you're traveling through Mid Nevada, where that's the state I live in, Mid Nevada. Um, now, Mid Nevada, there's not much there. There's just some off the side gas stations a set like you got fernley hawthorne tonopah all that stuff but what if you're going down from northern nevada all the way down to vegas 
Now, now uh, that's going to be an issue in line on an electric car park. If you live in this area, it's probably not the best idea to have an electric car if you're going to go on long road trips, especially if you do not live in a big state like California. Um, let's move on. Now, this is the 2020 Lincoln Aviator. Again, you guys can look these up. I'll put the link to this in the description. Um, this is the first, um, I would say... Oh, yeah, I forgot Cadillac was also ahead of the... Um, it's Cadillac and Lincoln are the head of the luxury vehicles in America. Um, now, this is... Um, they're saying... Now, Lincoln is expanding with their, an attractive vehicle. Finally, um... That appears unmistakably related to the Navigator, without a doubt. Now, this is without a doubt because this car is looks kind of like a um, I would say, uh, I would say Land Rover and a Lincoln at the same time. I'm not gonna say that, but I could be wrong. But I'm I'm not too sure. But the back end kind of looks like a um, um, Land Rover or Range Rover, whatever you want to call them. Now um okay so this sure it's kind of this looks like a porsche similar dashboard but it's not um same as the center console they say it's a provenance of bentley now provenance is pro i'm guessing is related to or um looks like or a counterpart like an actual part from uh, i wouldn't say that but um <clears throat> but this is their um first new suv First new name brand car in a long time. Navigator, I believe, was the last one. Now, um, Navigator came out roughly mid '90s, early 2000s. Um, but the Lincoln Continental has been around since the '60s, and now this is their response to the luxury SUV game, as Lincoln is technically Ford, as we all know. Now, that's about it for that. Um, since I gotta cut this video a little short, I gotta. Um, let my sister in soon. Um, but actually, let's talk about four. I think I might go over the 992 last. I might cut this clip here in a second so I can go let my sister into the house because, well, she's at her friend's house. Now, let's talk about the um, the Honda Passport, if I can find it. Um, okay, yeah, here it is. Now, this is a, um, a, I'm guessing another new SUV Honda has made as long as, as well as Lincoln has. Um, this is a two row seating SUV. It's a mid size SUV until um, mid to large size SUV. It's not like the Honda Pilot, which is bigger. This is like the mid size SUV or small, smaller mid size. It's right in between there. Now, it is a beautiful looking car as Honda has been doing for the past couple years. Um, but it, on the other hand, it is. In all-wheel drive, it has substantial lift off the ground, which is going to be good. So, it, so you can take it off-road or journey with it, as the name consists of, as Passport, which means you can go different places. Um, it allows you to go different places. That's what a Passport really is. Um, <clears throat> Actually, yeah, let's talk about... Now, that's all there is. There's not much to that. Let's talk about the ugly, in my opinion, the ugliest toy Toyota they have ever made. The TJ Cruiser concept. Now, this is a um, predecessor to the FJ Cruiser um, that ha they have released in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. 2013 is the last year they're making that because of the blind spots and it's super um, impractical because of the blind spots. You could not drive it, it would be too hard. <clears throat> now, this is presumably um, an ug this is so ugly. Um, it's supposed to be off road vehicle but it's not it's a tj cruiser action almost looks almost all electric now they're what they're doing with this is this looks stupid um but i'm gonna go let my sister in. i'm gonna just put a photo up here and i cut the clip here see you guys in the next clip yeah let's go with that okay so this truck was last year revealed at the tokyo show auto show i'm going to presume now it appears this truck as you can see in those photos i put in as i let my sister in the house um it looks like a actual japanese car it does not look like a toyota anymore um as you guys can tell now there's not much to this it's, it says could toyota can do it shows toyota can do i'm gonna say this in quote toyota can do clean crisp cool design 
whoever thinks that's cool is weird honest to god i think they're weird if they think that's cool but that's them okay that's the, my opinion they have theirs um i think this looks dumb okay all right so let's move on to um yeah my sister's make making weird noises in the background um yeah okay now this is also one of the cars that was revealed at the la auto show um now this is um this is a fact that this has been traveling around LA area at Nürburgring all that stuff for a long time because the testing had to be perfect the aerodynamics had to be perfect. Now, this thing does take a little bit of design a uh, little bit of design elements from the last generation the 991, but the 992 is quite different in many ways as well. Um it has a steeper back panel to it um and it, it's smaller the length is smaller the back end is cut in a little bit more it looks yeah it looks like it um if i'm not mistaken it looks like it has a little bit less of a back end to it now when the gt3s uh, 992 gt3s come out and gt2s if they make a 992 uh, gt2 i don't know but um they gotta figure out a way to figure that out because there's not much of a back end to it because the lights are from the panamera or similar design to the Panamera, in fact. Um, but it does take the front end design elements of that car. Now, they say that nobody at Motor Trend picked... <laughs> is Actually, no. Biggest, this is the biggest surprise of the show, actually. They didn't expect this to be here. Um, I wouldn't have expected this to be here because of... Well, it was a theory going around. They were testing on tracks and stuff. They, I don't, they, people didn't think they were going to be ready. Now, nobody at Motor Trend picked this car for the list and um nobody's picking it and this guy is like not picking it either because um because if they said it was a um considerable buzz it generated before during at in during the show now i'm thinking they're not going to pick this car because it's just a normal 99 uh 911 i would say um but you know, it's up to them. They're entitled to their opinion. It's America. Um, LA is America. They have the right to their own opinion. Now, I like it personally. I would drive that every day. I'm not too sh on board with that yellow color they picked, though. But everybody's surprised to see it. I would... Um, no, everybody's surprised to see it because they're still testing it. Now, they had to beat that timeline. Now, this they're saying the Porsche is not doing so well right now, but... I like it. I like the new 911, 992. Um, now the GT3 is gonna be interesting. Again, the back end. The back end is the f best part of that car. Uh, ooh, they got 291 photos of this car. Now, I might put them in the end of the clip, but because this is coming to an end of the clip. Now, it's got all digital di gauge cluster, um, as seen in this photo. Uh, it's not all digital, but it has digital in inside cluster, um, like. It has the original Porsche cl uh, cluster to it, but the inside of them, the analogs are ma majority digital. Now, yeah, I say again, it has the same back end as the Pan Panamera. Now, that's basically it, the important cars. I mean, yeah, the, um, the, Cor 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 <laughs> the Corolla sedan and the Mazda 3 are out, or debuted in this, uh, this uh, website at the car show. But this is the only end of the day too. Um, they don't have so much time to. Um, they've already been through this whole auto show, so this is the last ten. I would say ten or so cars on this list. Um, the top ten on the trend video cars. So, yeah, yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, make sure if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, get as far. I believe this channel can succeed, and so can the minicast series. Thank you. Have a good day.